Hi, welcome back to Novello Group TV. I'm Aaron Novello. In today's post, I wanted to share with you guys something that I noticed came up in a few negotiations uh, over the last 30 days with buyers and sellers, and that's the definition of an as-is contract, right? In other words, what does that mean, as-is, that terminology? And what it means is, is when an offer is written and it's written on an as-is contract, the buyer still has the right to do an inspection, right? And it also means that the buyer isn't necessarily giving up their right to even ask for something if something comes up in that inspection, right? To ask for a credit or ask for work to be done from a seller's perspective. So if you find yourself as a seller in a situation where you've received an as-is offer, I find that sometimes sellers can imagine or maybe have the expectation that because it says as is on the top of the contract, that that means that, you know, the buyer's not going to be doing an inspection or the buyer doesn't have the right to still request something from them if something comes up in that inspection. However, what is true is from a seller's perspective is that you have, if you have accept an offer that is written on an as is contract, you're not obligated to do anything if anything comes up in that inspection. You essentially have options. One option is, is you can simply say no, right? If a buyer makes a request in their inspection period, then they say, you know, we'd like for you to give us a credit. You say, no, I'm not doing that. We, you know, stated that it's as is, and you simply need to proceed. The second option is, is you can say, okay. I mean, if you feel like uh, the request is a reasonable one, you could just do the work or provide them with a credit of some sort, the buyer that is. The third potential outcome is you can negotiate, right? So in other words, if they came to you and said, hey, we found, I don't know, a leak in the roof and we found termites and we want a $5,000 credit. Whereas a seller, you could say, well, you know, we're not interested in providing you with a $5,000 credit. However, what is true is that we're, we will participate and we'll give you a $2,000 credit, right? So in other words, negotiate and see if you can work that out. Now, from a buyer's perspective, right? Uh, making offers that are on as-is contracts is a way of structuring your offer so that way there's an increased probability that a seller will accept it, right? So in other words, if there were two offers on the table, one offer was as-is, the other offer was not, you know, a seller is going to be inclined to go with the one that's as-is provided that the other terms and conditions were pretty much identical. So I wanted to share that with you, you know, to kind of clear that up. And hopefully it's been helpful to you in some way. If you find yourself in that situation, either as a buyer or seller, you have any questions with regards to that, you know, you could certainly reach out to me, give me a quick call or send me a quick email. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you real soon and to be of assistance to you and your family so we can help you guys get what you want in the time you want. Talk to you soon.